Hey y'all, thanks for stopping by. So AI image generation has been in my news feeds a lot over the last few months, whether it's the social media or actually in real news lately. Maybe you saw the story about Taylor Swift and the AI image generation that happened with her. Someone took some pictures of her and made it look like she was at a football game doing things she didn't and wearing clothes she wasn't, or I should say wearing not clothes she wasn't. The person who made these images and posted them to Twitter, their account has been deleted, and it seems like, I've heard rumors, that actual legislation is being worked on regarding this. It almost seems like it's deep faking, but not really. Like, deep faking and AI image generation are two completely different things, but the same concept of putting somebody's face onto a body that is doing things or wearing things, that person wasn't. That's what it seems like this legislation's about. You know, there was something that happened in the UK with a teenager, this sort of thing, where pictures of her were generated of her doing things she wasn't. And unfortunately with her, she took her own life because she couldn't deal with the embarrassment, the damage to her social credibility of having these pictures out there. Yes, she didn't do any of that, but I mean, some of these images look really good and it's hard to sort of walk that back. Now, the main thing I wanted to make this video about isn't that end of the AI image generation. I mean, I can if you want, just let me know if you want me to, but this other side that I've been seeing more lately, this Dignify AI program, I think that's how you're supposed to pronounce it. It's Dignif AI. It's the opposite end. It's people taking pictures of women that are wearing risque clothing or, you know, like swimsuits or lingerie, you know, just anything you've probably seen posted on social media. And these men are running these pictures through this algorithm to put clothes on them. Sometimes they're putting them into like homekeeper situations where they're cooking or cleaning or something like that. And at a first glance when I saw this, it reminded me of those flash games, you know, like the shockwave dress up my doll games where it's, you know, like a cartoon anime girl and you're picking what clothes she's wearing, except it's not a cartoon anymore. It's a real person you're doing this to. Now, I've seen people justifying this under the guise of, well, we don't want to see women in skimpy clothing anymore. We, we want to see women being modest. And it's, I, I find it very ironic that the men who are saying this in the same breath will talk about how they don't like governmental control. You know, I've asked a few of them how they feel about countries that have compulsory hijab laws, where women must wear a hijab or a niqab when they're in the streets, and they all say that they don't approve of that, but yet they approve of controlling what other people wear, you know? And I'll be honest with you, I do feel like, even though these are very opposite ends of this AI generation spectrum, one side is taking clothes off of people, one side is putting clothes onto people, the same men are making these images because it doesn't have anything to do with this modesty or modernity or, you know, sexual proclivities or any sort of thing that they're claiming. What this has to do with is control. Control over someone else's body. But they don't want the government to do it, but they're okay if they do it. You know, if they don't like what you're wearing, you put on more. If they don't like your tattoos, they take them off. And I think one of the best examples of what I mean by this, it's all about control, it has nothing to do with modesty. Everybody's favorite Malaysian, Ian Miles Chong, this was one of the people who brought this to my attention. He made some posts and it was this woman who had a fair amount of tattoos. You know, she had one on her forehead, one on her neck, covered up, she is. I mean, they look fine, not necessarily my style, but hey, more power to you. Um, the AI Dignify that they ran her through took away all of her tattoos, but it changed her eye color to blue and it made her breasts larger. It gave her cleavage. She didn't have cleavage in the initial picture, but the AI made it that way. This doesn't have anything to do with modesty. This doesn't have anything to do with you wanting women to wear more clothing. This has everything to do 
with you wanting to say what people are and are not allowed to do, say, wear, whatever. And hopefully you can recognize that hypocrisy. If you're one of the men who's been making these images or if you like them, maybe this will be your eye opener. If you've got a friend of yours who's been commenting on these or making them himself, or if you have someone in the future who shows you one of these as like a funny thing, maybe make fun of them for it. Maybe tell them that this is wrong, that they shouldn't be doing this. Because I'll, I don't know where this is going to lead to, but I feel like this will be very damaging to you when you try to make relationships in the future. You know, people have said this about pornography consumption, but when you have this sort of idea that you can just press a few buttons and change something about someone or make them do what you want or see what it is that you want to see in them by force. Normal people aren't going to like that and they're going to see that in you and they're probably not going to want to spend time with you. I, I hope that something changes with this, but... It's still really early to tell. This AI image generation stuff is like the Wild West right now, so I guess we'll see what happens. But, yeah, until we get more news about it, y'all try to have a good day.